Welcome to iLecture Online, and here are some videos on how to do vision correction, depending upon whether or not you're nearsighted or farsighted. So we're going to start with nearsighted first. Here's a person, this person is nearsighted, which means they have a far point, or that person has a far point. A far point is the farthest point that the person can see things clearly, and in this case it's 50 centimeters, which is just a little bit shy of two feet. So the farthest the person can see clearly is this far, anything beyond that, it becomes unfocused. So the objective then is to put some, read, not reading glass, but corrective vision glasses on with a diverging lens that will cause an object that is very far away, and so we say it's at infinity, of course it's not really at infinity, but relatively far away, so that is as well as it is um, using the, the lens equation, it acts as if it's at infinity, and we want to bring the image of that over here just inside the four point, far point so the person can see that image clearly. How do we do that? Well, let's use the lens equation. We have 1 over f is equal to 1 over s plus 1 over s prime. Of course, s is the object distance, s prime is the image, image distance, and f is the focal length. So we're trying to find the focal length of that lens. Now let's plug in the numbers that we have. For s, we're going to plug in infinity. Now we don't have to plug infinity. We can put in like 100 feet or 200 feet or 1,000 feet. But infinity works a little bit better. So 1 over f is equal to 1 over infinity plus 1 over s prime. Now s prime is the image distance and of course that has to be 50 centimeters. But notice also that the image is in front of the lens which makes that a virtual image which means that the image distance is a negative distance. So s prime is a negative 50 centimeters so we plug in a minus 50 centimeters. It's a virtual image. That means people who have corrective vision, <clears throat> if they're nearsighted and they put on a, a diverging lens, they're actually looking at the world through looking at them as virtual images. All right, Friggin now calculating f, 1 over infinity is, of course, 0, because anything divided by infinity is 0. So that means that 1 over f then becomes 1 over minus 50. And of course, then we turn the equation around. We can then see that f is equal to minus 50 centimeters. So that must be the focal length of the lens. Now usually when you go to a store and you say I need some corrective vision lenses, you don't tell them what kind of focal length you need, you tell them what the power of the lens is. So the power of the lens is equal to 1 over the focal length when the focal length is written in meters in the standard unit of length. So that means that we have to convert this to meters, so f is equal to minus 0.5 meters, and if we plug that back into this equation right here, then the power of the lens is equal to 1 over a minus 0.5. Of course, 1 divided by minus 0.5 means that p is equal to a minus 2, and the units for power, 1 over the focal length, is called diopters, so minus 2 diopters. So you can go to a store, like you can go to Walmart or any place like that, any drugstore, and go to the store and find glasses that are labeled as a minus two. And if your far point is 50 centimeters and you put those glasses on, you'll be able to see things clearly as um, when you look at things that are far away. So that's how you do your vision correction if your far point is at 50 centimeters. We'll do a few more examples where we'll put the far point in a different place and then also we'll start looking at how to correct vision if you are farsighted. And that will be next.